Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this special edition of the Players' Lounge. I'm now joined by the West Division champion, the quarterback representing the Tigers in this weekend's American Football Championship game, Riley Ferguson. Riley, how excited is the team to finally get down to Orlando and play for this conference title? Yeah, we're, we're really excited, you know, uh, going down, being able to play in the, in the conference championship uh, against a great team like UCF. We're, we're really excited. We can't wait for it. So, kind of ironic, but this is your third trip to Orlando or UCF this year. You guys flew out to Orlando early in September and then turned around and came right back and then went back out at the end of September and had a, had a tough game. What did you learn about the Knights in that game? I mean, uh, you know, they're a really good team. Um, you know, they're a team you definitely have to come out and play your best game against, and that's something that we didn't do. So, uh, you know, we have to look at that and, and learn, it to learn from the mistakes that we've had. And, you know, uh, going into this week, I know that, that all the guys are ready, and, you know, we're going to come out and, and give them our best shot. For you personally, as the leader and quarterback of this team, I know that was a frustrating game for you. A lot of turnovers. Um, but how has that motivated you, maybe for a chance at redemption here uh, when all the marbles are on the line? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you look when you look back at that game, it's definitely n not not the best game I've ever played. Uh, so I, I would like to say that you know a lot of that was on my shoulders, and you know, come this Saturday, that's something you will not see. Um, there will be a different Riley Ferguson out on that field. So two pretty good quarterbacks, I would say, uh, squaring off in this weekend's championship. You, a senior veteran. Um, leading your team in an outstanding way this season, but also Mackenzie Milton, um, just a sophomore and having a pretty good season himself. How would you describe the level of respect you have, not only for the UCF offense as a whole, but just for Mackenzie? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, they have an unbelievable offense, uh, great scheme over there, and then when you have uh, somebody like Mackenzie back there, you know, it, it's hard to stop, so our defense is going to have to come in, you know, and be ready to play, but He's a great player. I watch, I watch, you know, when I watch their highlights and, you know, the games. I watched the South Florida game this past week. So he, he, he makes some throws that are, that are very difficult to make, and, you know, he's a very good player. Let's talk a little bit about the UCF defense. Um, you guys are sitting at 10-1, and 1, but the Knights are 11-0. and 0. So um, your offense going up against their defense, what are some of the challenges they bring? Um, you know, uh, they, like to, they like to get up and, you know, uh, stack the box and, you know, try and stop the run and then man up on the outside. Um, you know, there's just, it just comes down to us winning our one on one sometimes and then, you know, just trusting the schemes that the, that the coaches put us in. I think that's the main thing. Um, you know, we all have to be on the same page and we have to just make sure we take care of the football and, and no negative plays and no penalties and we'll be fine. You mentioned that the last time in Orlando, it wasn't the best game of your career. What kind of, I guess, what challenges did you face in that game? Was it the weather? Was it all the traveling and rescheduling? Like, like why wasn't it your best game? What did you learn about yourself? Um, you know, I, I think the main thing is I, I really don't like to try and make excuses for myself or anything like that. I came out, I didn't get the job done. That, that's, that's what it is. Um, that's reality. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, um, I think it was just not, not trying to play within the system, trying to go out and make the big play. And, you know, I knew it was a big-time game and they were a good team, so I was trying to go and make the, make the right play and try and force the ball sometimes, and that's, that's not what I need to do. Um, and that's something Coach Norbell has been talking to me about, just come out and play within the system and just do as I'm coached and, and everything else will take care of itself. Well, your team in the preseason was picked to win the West Division this year, and it's kind of hard to believe. It feels like that was just yesterday that, you know, we were all in Newport talking about all the what-ifs of this season. Have you kind of had a chance yet to, to sit back and say, man, you know, we're 10-1, and one. the only loss on our schedule is to this team that we have a chance to play this weekend, but it's been such a fantastic season. There's still so much more to play for, but you, have you had a chance really to, to take any of those accomplishments in yet? Yeah, I would say I've had some time. Uh, you know, this past weekend, you know, I had a lot of family in town. It was Thanksgiving, so we got to, you know, sit down and, and eat some good food. And, and I think it kind of sank in a little bit. Uh, it's something, you know, that Memphis hasn't won outright is, you know, winning the Western Division, and, and that's something that we did. So I, it's, it's a great accomplishment for us, but at the end of the day, we want to go win, win, win all of it. I know that this season has been really meaningful for you just as a senior. Um, looking back, how would you describe some of the emotions, especially this last game playing in the Liberty Bowl? What kind of things were you feeling that day? Is there anything you sort of looked around and, and took in and said, man, I'm really going to miss this? Just, you know, looking around at the, at the fans in the stands and, uh, you know, just everybody involved, the managers, you know, the trainers. Uh, just, just everybody involved. I'm gonna miss it, miss it all. It's been Memphis has been great to me, and the Liberty Bowl has as well. So, um, you know, it was it was an emotional day for me. But I'm glad we went out and you know handled business like we did. 
earlier this season, your journey to get to the point that you have was pretty well documented. It hasn't been an easy collegiate career for you, but I think it's safe to say that you've ended up in a pretty good spot. Uh, Memphis seems like home to you. Um, what would it mean to you at this point to, to win that conference championship, punch your ticket to that New Year's Bowl game? I mean, what kind of emotions would that bring for you and just the brothers and friends that you've developed around yourself? Uh, it would it would mean everything. Um, you know, this is what we work for for 365 days a year. Um, you know, going out and winning a championship, and you know, to do it with the people I have around me, it would it would be the best feeling in the world. I already know it. Um, I'd probably be at a loss of words. Um, and it, it's just I couldn't ask for anything more. All right. Well, it's hard to believe championship week is here. We're looking forward to seeing you in just a couple days in Orlando. It's going to be a great game, and uh, we'll see you here soon, Riley. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You have a good one.